loves Take That. Holly's with us now. Holly, you love Take That? Uh, yeah, I quite like Take That. Favourite song? Probably Shine, Sh uh, of obviously. course. <laughs> oh. um, and we, hadn't, we haven't had a great amount of uh, Shine today, have we? A little bit coming through here and there, though. Uh, what we have had is a bit of Mist and Fog, and we've got some more of that to come tomorrow. But I always think that mist and fog makes for the prettiest weather photos. Yes. So I thought we would have a quick look at some. Good. Uh, they are very lovely indeed. And I thought I would tell you quickly why it is that we see mist and fog at this time of year. Because we always have this sort of moisture in the atmosphere, uh, but normally it's invisible. But mist and fog is basically cloud that forms on the ground. And when you cool air more, it starts to uh, lead to that moisture in the air condensing. So it forms little bits of water effectively in the air. And that's what the mist and the fog is. And you see it more at this time of year because, of course, our nights are longer. And therefore, temperatures drop further. And therefore, you're more likely to see this condensation. And we get these beautiful pictures. You do. And aren't they just stunning? I'm so impressed. And I'm hoping we'll get some more tomorrow because um, some more fog on the way tonight. Let's get your forecast then, shall we? Here she is, Jolly Holly Green. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. So a misty, foggy one on the way for tonight. Thanks to Robin for this shot of some crunchy autumn leaves underfoot. Do keep your weather photos coming in. Now into tonight, underneath clear skies, it will turn quite chilly with this potential for mist and fog, but it should at least stay dry. And it's thanks to high pressure, which sits in charge. We have got this weakening weather front, though, sweeping its way towards us. It is, as I say, weakening, but it may just bring a bit more cloud at times for tomorrow. You might see a spot of rain, but in general, dry. And it's dry as we head through the night tonight. Clear skies overhead and turning quite chilly. The risk of a touch of frost in some prone cold spots and also this mist and fog forming. And some of this could be quite thick. So we've got a Met Office yellow warning of fog in force across western parts of the region. Further east it is still a risk as well and for all of us it could be quite a murky start as we head into tomorrow morning and this mist and fog could be quite slow to clear and pretty thick in places. These are our low temperatures locally I think a bit lower out in the countryside for example so this murky foggy start tomorrow especially for those western areas that will lift and clear and eventually turn into a reasonably bright day some spells of sunshine but you can see a bit more cloud trying to trickle in thanks to that weather front maybe a spot of rain underneath it but in general mostly dry temperatures though a shade lower than today. These are our times of high water. So we're looking at Portsmouth at 9.52 in the morning and 10 o'clock in the evening. And you may go away with a bright start on Friday, but cloud thickens through the day, outbreaks of rain into the evening and overnight, and perhaps the first part of Saturday. So Saturday may start wet, brightening up, but with the risk of some showers, fewer showers and more sunshine for Sunday. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. And in just a moment, the ITV Evening News Hour continues with Mary Nightingale. I shall have our late news, but for now, from the team here at ITV Meridian, thanks for watching. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.